Okay, ready, set, one. Ready, three. Sweat. Whoa. <laughs> Jug on. Jug on. We're gonna talk about today, Faith. I had an idea of it then. What? <laughs> and in today's video, <laughs> we haven't done this in a while. Alright, we're a little rusty. Rusties. Yes, yes, yes! Lightning McQueen here, and I use Rusties medicated bump point, the new rear end formula. You've been saying Dorsey first! No! Stop it! Me first! Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, work with your mom, they said. It will be fun, <laughs> they said. Hey, hey you guys! guys. Welcome aboard Crab Central Station. My name is Faith. And I'm Darcy. Faith. Guess what my favorite thing is to do? What? Take vacation. <laughs> well, that, that's fun and all, but what do you do with your crabs when you're on vacation? That is a really good question, and we are going to answer all of those questions in this video. Let's get started. All right, you guys, this video we hope is going to be really helpful in preparing you to get your hermit crabs ready for your vacation. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. And, you know, vacations can be anywhere from overnight to a weekend, three days, up to, you know, a week or two weeks. And depending on how long you plan to be gone really will make a difference in what you need to prep. But we do want to say if you plan to be away for longer than three days, you really need to plan on having a pet sitter, a family member, a neighbor, somebody that is willing to come in and check on your hermit crabs. And we'll tell you guys why throughout this video. Yeah, so in this video, we are going to go over the five major things you need to do to prep for your vacation. So don't click off quite yet. We are going to talk about how to prep your water tanks or bowls. We are going to talk about how to prep your food. We are going to talk about some emergency setups, just in case some emergencies happen with your crabs. And we're going to talk about some notes that le you can leave for your pet sitter so that they can efficiently and effectively take care of your crab babies. And finally, we are going to give you a rundown of everything you need to do right before you leave, all the last minute things to check off your list so that your crabs can stay healthy while you are away. So let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing that you guys need to prepare for is water changes while you're on vacation. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, water bowls need to be changed out every 48 hours if it's standing water. Which, by the way, if you haven't already checked out our basic water pools, check out in the iCard right now so that you know exactly what is required for hermit crab water care. And if you're going to be on vacation for an extended period of time, I would say more than a week, you guys, I would definitely check out our advanced water pool options because that will be super helpful for you, your hermit crabs, and your pet sitter. And we will link that in our end card for you guys. So that being said, the first thing that you're going to want to do to prepare is get a jug of water, about a gallon size jug of water, and one for fresh water and then one for already made up salt water and label your jugs so that your, your pet sitter can easily distinguish which jug goes with, with, with which pool. <laughs> jug goes with which pool. <laughs> All right. So that also means it would be very important if you would label the pool itself on the outside of the tank. So if your salt water is on the left side, you get maybe a post-it note mm -hmm. and put salt water and stick it on the glass and then fresh water on the right side. That would be really helpful for your pets that are while you are gone. Also, you guys, you need to have available and out for your sitter prime because if you have bubblers in your pool, then they will need to be priming those every three days while you are on vacation. So it's a good idea to go ahead and write out the instructions for prime because again, a pet sitter is not used to this type of care usually. And so you're going to want to go ahead and tell them how much to put in the pool and make sure that's easier, whether that's with a dropper or however you normally do that. So that's what you are going to need for your water pools. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so number two on the list is going to be your food. So let's talk about that. So first and foremost, you only want to feed and offer dry foods while you're away. This is because when you offer things like fresh fruits and things like that, it's much more likely to mold, attract bugs and flies while you're gone. And that's just a lot more mess for you to clean up. It's bad for your crabs. And really the sitter probably won't know what to do with it. So we just offer dry food while you are away. And speaking of which, I wanted to go ahead and talk about this peanut butter suey from Just Two Old Crabs and also Mary Aker's um, Krabby Cookies. These are both dry options that you can put in your tank while you're gone. We're gonna go ahead and link those down below. Um, our crabs absolutely love these and these are a great option while you are away. All right, so second, it's really important that you are also offering ample um, items in your tank for your crabs to forage. So this is going to include um, things like foraging mix. This particular one is from Hermit Grub. Things like millet for your crabs to munch on. Um, our crabs really like these little popcorn stick, or I guess corn kernel stick things. Um, these actually you can find at the hamster store in most um, food, um, what am I saying? The hamster store at most the hamster section. Uh, the hamster section at most pet stores. Also with this, you guys, you can put it in the tank just as it is with the kernels unpopped, or you could go ahead and pop it and put it in the tank. Either way is gonna be good. Yep. And then um, also things like lichens, moss that you can have in your tank. Um, of course, our tanks, we have tons of hermit crab safe bark and leaves, which means that they have been prime treated and you know that whole process with the freezing or the baking, you know how that goes. Um, so those are things that they can just munch on while you're gone so that if they should eat up the stuff that is in their dish, which we'll talk about in a second, they can move on to those. Um, all right, so now let's talk about these dishes. So to make this the easiest it can possibly be for your pet sitter, what we suggest is you take those dry foods and you put them in your little bowl, like the regular amount that you would do for about two days. And then of course you wanna have your pet sitter remove this after the two days and replace it. And remember you guys that you want this dish to be 50% protein, especially if you're gonna be out of town, not here watching your crabs, you don't want any type of aggression. So yes. just like put lots of extra protein on there. Yes, great tip. So go ahead and fill this up. Like she said, 50% protein. You're gonna want those dry foods. And then just stick it into a little plastic bag and have this all lined up for the days you're gonna be gone. Um, like I said, you wanna switch this out every two days, so make sure you'll leave that in your instructions with your pet sitter. And that just makes things really super, super easy for everybody. Yeah, you can um, even label your, your Ziploc bags for oh, the day yeah. that you want them to replace it, so. Yeah, um, and then the last tip that we we have for you guys is to fill up your green sand and your worm casting dishes all the way full. That kind of goes along with the whole foraging thing. Just more snackies for your crabs. Awesome. Yeah. Item number three on our list to get ready before you leave for vacation are items that you might need in case of an emergency while you are gone and your pet sitter is taking care of your hermit crabs. Now we hope none of these things happen but you just never know and it's better to be safe than sorry, you guys. Yep. So these are the things you need to have prepared along with the directions on what to do for your pet sitter. And I would also highly suggest that you guys link our videos that go along with these emergencies so that they can have a visual of what to do along with your written instructions. So here we go. In case of an emergency, I would definitely have your small mug with your towel, your extra shells, and of course, you'll already have your prime and your water because they'll be doing their, their water changes. And so this is in case there's a naked crab when your pet sitter comes over to change out food or water. They have everything they need to take care of that emergency. The second thing that you need is an isolation tub. Now this is something that you want to be able to fit back in your main tank because they're not here at your house to constantly um, take care of their heat and humidity needs in an isolation tank. So you want it to be small enough that they can place it in the main tank. And you would use this in case there was a surface molt, for example, your pet sitter could, you know, scoop them up and place them in the isolation tote and put it back in the tank while you're on vacation and your crab can continue the molting process safely away from the other crabs and they have everything that they need. So in that isolation bin, you guys, go ahead and make sure you have a little bit of sand 
um, a dish for some water. I have some moss in there because even if your crab is molting, um, the moss isn't going to hurt them. And if they finish eating their exoskeleton while you're gone, they have a little something to eat in there um, while they wait for you to return. So that's what you need to have for your isolation tote. Also, this isn't really in case of an emergency, but it could be if you don't have this supply. And so if you do not already have a thermostat on your tank that regulates your heat mat, if you're gonna be gone for several days to a week, I would, I mean, really it's a must. I mean, you need to get a thermostat so that your tanks automatically turn on the heat when it gets too cold in the tank or turn off when it's starting to get too warm. Again, you're not home watching your crabs like you normally would and your pet sitter might be coming only every three days. And so that could be a really critical um, moment if you don't have that heat pad working like it's supposed to. And then also, our crabs need a 12 hour day cycle and a 12 hour night cycle. We all already know that, but if you're not here to turn those on, you need to have some type of automatic timer. So if you do not already have an automatic timer for your lights, I would definitely invest in that. They're not too expensive. You can find them at Walmart or Amazon. Guys, we'll put a link for you so it's easy for you to go and get one. And those make life, both of those things actually, whether you're on vacation or not, so much easier. <laughs> it makes it, yeah, I mean, it's like stress-free crab care to have those two, those two items. So it is well worth your investment to have those two things, as well as these emergency kits, you know, the ISO on hand and your naked crab kit on hand is great for you um, even when you're not on vacation. Yep. All right, guys, let's talk about that fourth step for you getting ready for vacation. And this involves making everything as easy and simple and straightforward as possible for your pet sitter. So first and foremost, we highly suggest that you leave kind of a little care booklet or a care note for your pet sitter so that they can follow it. They can go step by step. They make sure they don't miss anything. Um, we're actually going to link some um, possible ones down below. So you can literally just um, print this out and leave it there for your care sitter. Um, also, we have kind of discussed it might be best if you could email to them before you leave. That way they can go over it and, you know, maybe if they have any questions they can ask you before you head out of town. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna link that down below. Um, also, we would um, highly advise that you leave a link to the Lycos group chat and links to our videos so that if anything should go wrong and they can't get a hold of you while you're on vacation, they can use those resources to hopefully help with the emergency. Um, all right, so in addition to this note, you want to make sure that you set out everything that your care sitter could possibly need to take care of your crabs in one central location buy your crabs so you want to make sure that you're leaving anything they can eat so trash bags paper towels those um, extra bottles of water the care book like we talked about the food um, the little the little baggies that have the little dishes in them all labeled prime everything like that you want to make sure it's all in one area so they don't have to go searching through your house for anything and it is all set and ready for them the fifth thing that you want to do before you leave on vacation is a last minute day of checklist. Yeah, so we're gonna go through that right now. The first thing on that checklist is to do a tank tidy up. So just sift through the sand, kind of clean up the tank as you would on any normal day, and then go ahead and add all of your foraging things we were talking about, the millet, the moss, everything like that. Um, go ahead and refill your worm castings and your green sand, and then finally you're going to want to go ahead and put in your um, first um, little containers of dry food for the next couple of days. Excellent. The next thing that you're going to want to do on your checklist is freshen up those water pools. Go ahead and get your fresh water and your salt water nice and primed in those pools again so it's ready for those first few days of vacation. Also, you guys, a really good idea to do right now is double check those bubblers if you have them. Make sure that your airline is working. Make sure that your air stones are working properly. Go ahead and check all of your cords, you guys, to your heat mat, your thermostat, your pumps. Um, all of those things, make sure they're plugged in really well, your lights on your tank um, and your timer, check those um, degrees that you have set on your thermostat and the times that you have on your timer. Just all of those kind of electronic things, make sure they're all set and, and ready to go. They're not having any kind of malfunction. Yep. Then next what you want to do is go ahead and put that lid on top of your tank tightly secured and then take a little sticky note 
put it on top of the tank and just to remind your pet sitter with that sticky note, you know, right on there, hey, make sure that this tank is securely closed because we all know some of our crabs can be little escape artists and we would not want that happening while you are on vacation. Yeah, a great idea with the sticky note, just a last minute reminder. And then also you guys, you want to go ahead and add another sticky note, I would say just at the base of the tank that has the safe range of heat and humidity because your pet sitter is probably not familiar with that. And it's just a really quick thing that they can glance at and know, okay, this gauge is reading the same as the sticky note. So we know that the environment in the tank is good to go or in the case that it's not, they can start to look to um, that Lycos group for some advice on what to do. Yeah, so that's the checklist. All right, Crab Crew, I really hope that these five tips really help you to feel comfortable with going on vacation and knowing that your crabs are gonna be well taken care of and that your pet sitter is gonna know exactly what to do in all the different situations um, so that you can relax on your vacation because that's what vacation's for. Yep, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your support. Please make sure you're subscribed, like this video, go ahead and check out all of our socials linked below. Also, we have a TikTok now, so go and check that out. And thank you guys so much, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Tell me you're obsessed with an exotic animal. Without telling me you're obsessed with an exotic animal, we'll go first.